Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a pencil review and um, some pencils that were sent to me by one of uh, a viewer uh, and a pencil pal in Switzerland. And I want to say thank you so much for all that you sent me and so many fun things and things that are not readily available here in the United States. So thank you. Uh, uh, and I appreciate you sending them to me. And today I want to look at these pencils um, from uh, Karan Dash. And these are basically school pencils um, from what I can tell. They're just you know graphite pencils for basic all-purpose use and they come in this blister four pack here uh, and so I want to take a closer look at it and we start right up here with the recognizable Swiss cross uh, Karan Dash, Geneva, and here in a number of different languages, which tells me that they market these pencils throughout the EU probably. Uh, we have graphite pencil for drawing, office, and school use. And here these are graded an HB medium uh, so a number two for those of us in the United States uh, has an eraser erasable here with the eraser and they are in very standard pencil yellow and they have a silver chrome-toned ferrule and white eraser. Again, four in a package. And uh, we'll take a closer look uh, at them. They're pre-sharpened, by the way. And I'll say this about these pre-sharpens. These pencils are really sharpened. Unlike the pre-sharpened pencils they sell here in the United States that have a little tiny nub of the graphite sticking out, I don't think you could write more than two sentences with it. But here, these are almost long point sharpens. I mean, there's some healthy, some healthy graphite sharpened on, on these. So kudos to them. Um, let's see what it says in the back. Karan Darsh, Geneva, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, Russian, so more languages on the back. Um, gives you the size here, 2.1 millimeter. I'm assuming the hammer coming down on the tip of the pencil means it's brake resistant. Uh, and um, yes, you can sharpen them. Uh, here we have the S, I'm sorry, FSC um, seal mix wood from responsible sources. Swiss made packaging can be recycled. And then here's our manufacturing address, website, all that stuff. Okay, so that's great. Or to a pack. And let's get one out and see what we got. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, move this up a little bit. Come into focus. Here's our imprint, which is sort of in a bronzy foil 
um, imprinted, Grand Dash, Swiss made 351-2. There is a product code here down at this end. So perhaps they sell these by individual um, pencils in some circumstances. And you can here get a closer look at that ferrule. Again, chrome toned and a white eraser. Uh, that is, it looks like the ferrule is crimped on. However, I'm not sure about the eraser. The eraser might be glued in. I don't see any top crimping here holding the eraser in place. All the crimping I see is really at the bottom. So, not sure about that. Don't know what kind of wood this is. Certainly didn't say cedar. I don't expect that it is. I don't think it's that kind of a pencil, but it does really have a nice point on it. So, let's try this out. Okay, not sharpening the pencil because it seems sharp enough and ready to go. It's got a good healthy point on it. So let's Mm-hmm. Okay. You can perhaps see it is, uh, again, graded in HB. But even though it is an HB or considered a medium, this pencil is still fairly light toned, uh, still has a hard feel. Um, it isn't, it, it's fairly smooth. Um, I wouldn't say it's silky smooth, uh, but it's not super scratchy. But um, it seems like these uh, Swiss pencils tend to run lighter and harder than the right to me it feels almost like um a two and a half or three um or you know uh say a f or an h pencil Let's put a little of it down on the paper. You can see it's fairly quiet. Point retention is excellent. So it's got that going for it too, here point is still really strong. Um, virtually no smudge drag. It's minimal. I mean minimal. Again, kind of what we'd expect from a, a lighter toned harder cord pencil. Let's try erasing it. I'm going to use the attached eraser for starters anyways. Hey, you know what? Not bad. 
Not bad. Decent eraser. Uh, that I like. Let's try some of our block erasers. This is Pentel that is having a hard time staying in its little sleeve. Good. Foam eraser. Very good. Pink carnation. Also good. Mars. Good. Here's a jot retractable. Good. What else we got? Magic rub. for a soap eraser. Do they still make those? I remember using one when I was a kid in school. It had a great smell. It's called a soap eraser. It's white gum eraser. It does a good job. Hartmuth rubber eraser. Uh, what do we got here? Mini softy. Well, not a Raj. Okay. Well, right across the board, including the attached eraser, all did excellent. It's it gets an A. Yeah, it's solid, solid A. Very erasable pencil. And I think that probably has something to do with the lightness uh, of the tone, the hardness of the core, but uh, very erasable pencil. I also wonder, because on the package it promoted that it was brake resistant, and maybe that is the way that they strengthen the core so that it does not break uh, easily. Maybe that has um, an impact on the tone of the line that it leaves and the lightness and the what I'm perceiving as a hardness to the core. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I think you could write for this pencil with this pencil for a long time before you needed to sharpen it. Honestly, it's um, 
uh, harder and lighter than I generally like to use um, for myself, my own preferences. That said, if you um, prefer a harder core, one that needs uh, infrequent sharpening and one that erases beautifully, um, this might be a nice option for you. Um, and I will tell you, I have never written, written with a um, uh, Quran Dash uh, 351-2 pencil before. So um, again, thank you to my friend in Switzerland for sending these to me. It was a lot of fun to try them and to use them. And I hope uh, you enjoyed spending this time with me, discovering this pencil and trying it out. If you like what I do here, please share, subscribe, like, uh, and I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon, right here on Always Analog.